Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming up in out of Austin, Texas with a message for somebody today. Pray with me and stay with me to the end. You gonna be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we come into prayer. Lord God, just thank you because of who you are, Lord. You are truly the El Shaddai, the God Almighty, the all-sufficient one. Father, I pray, Lord, that if there's any covenants that I may have made with the enemy, Normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, because my covenant is with you, Father. Lord God, if there's any demonic portals that I may have opened up, normally or unknowingly, I close it shut and I seal it closed with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And I command this old flesh to stand down. And I ask humbly that the Holy Spirit would stand up and speak, Father. Lord, let this word reach whom it need to reach. Father, let those that have eyes see. Take the scales off their eyes. And Lord, let those that have ears hear. Because you said, my sheep should know my voice. And a stranger's voice, thou will not follow. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory and all the honor. The word is expected because you will have it any day now. Thank you, Jesus. I said expect it because you will have it any day now. The Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody in the name of Jesus. Before I get into the word, I want to say a quick thank you for all the love and all the support. Okay? All in the emails, the comment sections, the donations. I just pray that the Father which is open up the floodgates and just bless your overall health and wealth in Jesus' mighty name. I am praying. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. I got a few scriptures, y'all, that uh, I'm a brain. Okay? Pull out your Bibles and get ready because I want you to see this for yourself. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. The first one I'll be coming from, I got my notes. Okay? It's Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of, of those who diligently seek him. Mm. Thank you, Father. The Father sees. He don't sleep, nor do he slumber. The Lord is watching and he knows. Thank you, Father. Stay with me to the end. Somebody getting blessed today in the name of Jesus. The, the, the next scripture be coming from 1 John 5, 14. Mm, thank you, Father. Expect, y'all, what you are praying for to come. Watch this. This is the confidence which we have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, according to his will, okay, he hears. I'm going to say this one more time. Somebody got to catch this. Somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit. This is 1 John 5.14. This is the confidence which we have before him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Catch the key according to his will. Is what you're praying for, is it the will of God? Mm, only God knows this. Thank you, Jesus. Is it his will, what he's saying, okay? If what you are praying for is in his will for your life, then you shall have it. Mm, the Lord's speaking to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. See, because I don't want nothing that's not in the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. You know, the, the Lord gave me this, this word this morning because I had ordered this package, okay? And it was, I ordered from Amazon and I was waiting on this package for Santa Ben came. As a matter of fact, it was running late. But I was expecting this package, okay, to come at any time. So I was looking, every little noise, I'm peeping at the door, okay, because you don't want to leave your package out sitting too long. So I'm I, I'm looking at that the door and I'm expecting it. It's what you preparing for. Are you, I mean, what you plan for, are you getting ready for it? Help me, Holy Spirit, to bring this message, Lord, the way that you intended. Are you preparing for what you plan for? Somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit. And you getting blessed today in the name of Jesus. Are you are you preparing for it? Are you looking for it? Are you expecting it to come? Do you really believe 
what you are asking God for. Because see, often what I find, saints, that the things that we are praying for and we're asking God for, we really don't believe it. So we don't prepare and we don't get ready. Mm, we don't prepare and we don't get ready. Mm, some of you are praying for kingdom spouse, maybe a husband or a wife. Okay, but 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 you 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 still got a twin bed. Come on, man of God. You say you want a wife. You ain't. Are you preparing? Are you getting the finances ready? Are you getting everything in order? Are you preparing? Mm, have you went and brought a, a king size bed? Thank you, Jesus. Right now you still sleeping in a twin bed. It's not enough room. Thank you, Father. Come on, help me, Holy Spirit, to bring this message. Are you preparing for what you are praying for? The Lord get ready to speak to somebody. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Stay with me. Stay with me to the end. You're going to be blessed. Matthew 2, 22. And all things you ask in prayer, believe and you will receive. Believe and you will receive. Mm, do you really believe? Are you believing? Mm, thank you, Father. Are you preparing? Are you getting ready? You know, when you, I remember the day. When, you know, I would get ready, my ex-fiance would come into town and I would be preparing. I'll be getting ready. I was excited because I knew he was coming. OK, I knew he was coming like he said he would come. I knew he was coming and I will prepare. Are you preparing for what you are praying for? The Lord is, is speaking to somebody. He is speaking to somebody. Mm, this thing going to resonate in somebody's spirit because somebody praying. Thank you, Jesus. I know a whole lot of you praying right now, but somebody really praying. They really seeking the face of God for direction, for revelation and confirmation. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Holy Spirit. Help me to bring this message, Lord. This is good. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Father. I'm going to be coming from, this is Isaiah 65, 24. It will also come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. This is this is the Lord speaking. Mm, what you asking for, he has already answered. And he say, while you are yet still praying, mm, I, I'm, I'm still listening. I'm, I'm still listening because what the Lord is saying, I don't want to miss nothing. Mm, I don't want to miss nothing. Thank you, Jesus. The Father is getting it all. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Stay with me now. Stay with me to the end. James 4, 3. I'll put these scriptures in the description box, okay? And you can look for whatever translation you want to study from, okay? James 4, 3. You ask and do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. Who the Lord is speaking to today? Mm. So you may spend it on your pleasures, on your own pleasures. Mm. What you asking God for, it, it doesn't even include him. The Lord is speaking to somebody. This is on own for your, your, your own pleasure, your own gratification, not the glory of God. Mm. The Lord want to know today, how is he going to benefit what you asking him for? Mm. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Will, it is what you asking the Father for, what you praying for. Will the Father be glorified? Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Will he be uplifted? Thank you, Father. Come on, Father. Help me to bring this message. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Will God get any fulfillment out of the blessing you are asking him to give you? Or is it just for your own selfish gratification? Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Some of us are praying for, like I said, kingdom spouses and, 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 and business opportunities and new homes and new vehicles. It is different things we, we're praying for. But is it for the glory of God? What, what would the Father get out of it? Yes, he wants us to enjoy our blessing. But what would the Father get out of it? Will the Lord be glorified? Thank you, Jesus. Or is it just for you? Mm, for your own pleasures. Who is the Lord speaking to? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Nothing is wrong with wanting to pray for a spouse to be able to enjoy, but God got to get glory too. It's the spouse you praying for. You know, it, it, will, will you be equally yoked? Will you be able to walk together? Okay, Amos, I think it's Amos 3 and 3. Amos 3 and 3, how can two agree unless they walk together? Go look it up. Okay, how can, I mean, how can you walk together unless you agree? You can't walk together going in different directions. You got to be on the same path. Okay, walking in the same direction with the Lord. Mm. Are you asking God to send you somebody 
equally yoked? Or do you just want somebody and you want what you want? Or are you asking the Father, Lord, let your will be done. Have your way, Father. Give me what you want me to have so that you may be glorified. Who is the Lord speaking to? Somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit. And you getting blessed today. Oh, yeah. Somebody getting blessed today. Because the Lord is saying, if you believe what you are praying for, then you are to be, you, you should be preparing and expecting it any day, any day now, any day. Mm, get ready. Mm, whatever you got to do while you're in that process of, of waiting, you should be preparing. If you really believe in for God to send you a wife or a husband, you should be preparing. Okay. So however way the Holy Spirit leads you. Some of us, it could be with school. Some of us, it could be with maybe our health, weight loss, you know, trying to get healthier. Who is the Lord speaking to? We, we say we're preparing. Okay, I'm preparing for my husband, but we eat everything in sight. <laughs> okay, when we know back in the day, I can remember when I would be preparing. Okay, and, and I would be getting ready, y'all. Okay, I mean, cutting back on what I was eating, on all that butter, pecan, ice cream. I wanted to be, I wanted to look good. Okay, for my honey back in the day. Help me, Holy Spirit. Come on now. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. But some of us say that we're getting ready, but but and we praying. But the truth is, we're not believing. We eat everything in sight. We're not believing. Okay, every time we get on the scale, it's going up. We, we, we're not preparing. Our, our mind not even there. We praying and we fasting. But the truth is, we don't believe that God would do what he said he would do. We, we don't believe. It's impossible to please God without faith. Without faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vid is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, at the end, it should speak and not lie. Though my package tarry, I waited for it because I knew it was coming. I was looking for it all out the door. Expect it. Mm, expect it. I expect it. And I got, though it took time and it was late, but it came. It came just like they said it would come. I didn't know exactly the time. I knew in between the time frame, but sometimes even in between that time frame, it didn't show up. They was late. Okay. But I know, okay, it didn't come today. Maybe tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And I'm not telling y'all this message to be obsessed. That's not what it is about. It's believing that God would do what he said he would do. Thank you, Jesus. And what you asking for, is it for the kingdom of God? Is it to, 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 to be a blessing to the kingdom of God? Thank you, Jesus. That new home, that new vehicle. Thank you, Father. Or is it just for your own, for your own selfish reason? You want to use it to show off. You want to show off that, that vehicle, that, 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 that new car. And God is just getting nothing out of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. To God be the glory and all of the honor. And, and two, when you get message like this, you don't just Sit on it and say, I receive it. No, you call it for. The Bible says we should be able to decree a thing and it should be established unto thee. Thank you, Father. Call that thing for. Fast, pray, meditate in the word of God. Okay, you don't sit there and not do nothing. No, you call it for. You call it for. You decree and you declare the promises of God in your life and for your life to come forth in the name of Jesus. Call it for. In the name of Jesus. Because don't think that the enemy is going to let you have it without a fight. Mm -mm. You have to pray, fast, meditate, and seek the face of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I pray that whoever this message is for, it be a blessing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to give an invitation to the Lord. That those of you that may not have the Lord, maybe you got away from the Lord, you backslid. I don't know. It don't matter. It's irrelevant. All that matters is that. The Lord is waiting on you now. Do you believe that God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins and he rose from the dead? You are saved by the blood of Jesus. Say the sinner's prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sin and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. You said this prayer with me and you believe that, that, that God did this, that Christ died and rose from the dead. Okay, you are saved by the blood of Jesus. The next step will be baptism. Until next time, I love you guys with the love of God. Be blessed. Bye.